whatever the reason may be, you are here to learn about the Facebook Marketplace interface and how you can buy things. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the entire Facebook Marketplace interface from the desktop and show you how you can make your first purchase. Take action now. Hi, my name is Desiree. If you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell below. Let's head over to the desktop where I'm gonna start walking you through everything that you need to know about the interface. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out on Facebook. You're going to go over to the far left-hand side of the screen, and you're going to hit Marketplace. In here, you're going to see a screen that looks very similar to this. You're going to see this COVID seller's information basically encouraging you to show uh, distance and safety guidelines for local health information so that everyone can stay safe. You're going to have all of the different tabs over here on the left, which we'll go over in a moment. And they're going to have your today's picks. These are going to be the things that are on sale that are newly listed in your area based on the parameters that you have selected. So let's start working through the interface on the far left-hand side from every item down. So again, browse all is like our default setting. We have our live shopping. Live shopping shows you things that people are doing as live streams that they are selling right now uh, on Facebook. We have notifications. These are set up for if like you have any alerts set on or things that are happening on Facebook Marketplace that you're made aware of, you can find them in here. In our inbox, this is where our conversations are going to happen with those that we are selling and buying with. We have our buying tab over here, which is going to show you these are different items I have looked into purchasing. We have saved items, things that I have saved to maybe buy at a future time. I have purchase orders. These are for like if someone's a retailer, I can buy from them here and have this. And then I have submitted offers as well, which is um, where I can request an item at a discounted price or uh, make them an offer and then they can choose to accept it. I have my alerts on. If I have set up a, a keyword or a phrase that I want to track within Facebook Marketplace, I can see those alerts here. I can see different individuals I might be following. And then I have my commerce profile. This allows for other people to know what kind of a seller and buyer I am. They're going to be able to see the different sit my rating, which is a, was almost a five star. I can see the items that I've had listed in the past, and it just works really well uh, for getting those items taken care of. Okay. Go back to the marketplace homepage. Okay, so we have buying and we have selling. So selling is where we sell items to other people. So we can see the items that I have sold in the past here on Facebook Marketplace. You can link a bank account, but that's uh, up to your discretion. I have chosen not to do that because I try very hard to keep uh, my personal banking information off of the internet. I also have orders I have shipped, promotions that I'm be running. So this would be like if I'm putting a paid advertisement behind something I'm selling. This is very helpful if you are selling a high ticket item or something that you have a lot of. Heading back over to our browse all page on the marketplace, we have create a listing. We are not going to be going over how to list something for sale in this video. If you would like to watch that, definitely check out the video uh, that's in the cards right now or at the end of the video as well. We go down here, we have our filters. This is going to show like the area that we want to browse in and then within what radius are you willing to travel up to that you're going to browse within and you can change those settings. Then we have categories. Categories are really great because it allows for us to like kind of pick, if I'm looking for something specific, I can kind of go in here and see what's available. So like, and I think it's when I say have this like free stuff thing. So if you're looking for like something that someone's just giving away or they don't want anymore, or they just can't sell, you can go into free stuff and see what items that you can find. Uh, if you're looking for maybe something for like home goods, you can click on the home goods tab and then you can see all these fun items that are for sale. You can also, again, set your pricing up here under filters. So if I want to put like $100 max uh, on my on my purchase, I can do that. <laughs> I can choose my delivery method. So all that means items that can be shipped to me or that I can pick up locally. I tend to focus on things that I can pick up locally because I can just drive into town and I can grab those items. And then of course, item condition, if you only want a new item or if you're okay with the used item, you can show that there as well. Okay. So now let's go into like, how would I maybe potentially want to buy something? So I'm just going to go back to free stuff and use an example here. So let's see, this teapot is really cute. Let's see if I say I was interested and I want to buy it. I can see over here the description, the price, when it was listed. I can do any messaging. I can click this icon here to save it if I want to track it and see, come back to it at a later time. I can see where it is, the condition, who the seller is, and then of course the sponsor ad. Down here at the bottom is where the messaging is going to happen. By default, all messages start with this. Is this still available? And would you take $40? I'll come get it now. Like this is the default. I can just go in 
and as, and then I can just hit send. And then what's going to happen is the message is going to pop up as a pop-up in my bottom right-hand corner of my screen right here. And I also can go up to my Facebook Messenger and I can see in Marketplace at the top the conversation that's being had right here. Okay, so that's all that you have to do in here. And then as you are continuing to browse or do other things on Facebook, that alert will pop up. Now, I would like to take a moment to talk about safety for a quick second. I think it's important to make sure that when we are using Facebook Marketplace, especially if we're buying something, that we stay safe. So make sure that wherever you're going, it is to a trusted place or a place that you have been before or that you have somebody with you. If you're really unsure, a lot of police stations will have designated like online shopping spots that you can go to to have those transactions. You also can do something that's called a porch pickup, which is where an item can be left on a porch and the person can come pick it up and leave like cash under the doorstep or do a Venmo or PayPal transaction as well. This is very common. In fact, it's something that I do all of the time. So make sure that whatever you're doing things on Facebook Marketplace, buying or selling, that you are putting your safety at the forefront and so that you are not harmed and neither are others. Now, if you're wanting to know more about how you can sell items on Facebook Marketplace, I want you to watch this video that I have for you right here. And if you want to know how to use Facebook Marketplace from your mobile device, watch this video I have for you right here. And until next time, I will see you soon.